Hi everyone, I'm Sarah with the Hobby Lobby Creative Studio. Today, I'm going to show you a super simple method for making curtains. Stick around, we'll get started in just a minute. There are lots of options when it comes to making curtains. Single panel, double panel, lined, long, short. You can make curtains that hang using a rod pocket, or maybe they hang from clips or using grommets. With some simple sewing skills, you can make any of them. Today though, I'm going to show you how to sew a simple curtain with a rod pocket. Here's a list of materials you'll need. A sewing machine, fabric, thread to match, fabric scissors or a rotary cutter and cutting mat, a clear ruler, straight pins, a seam gauge, an iron, and a measuring tape. You'll also need a curtain rod. We're using a rod that's a little under an inch in diameter. You can use just about any fabric for making curtains from something sheer to heavy tapestry fabric. Be sure to visit the fabric department at Hobby Lobby to pick your favorite to try. You of course want to choose something that complements your room's decor and is either more sheer or heavy depending on how much light you want to come through. The fabric that we're going to use today for making our curtains is this beautiful medium weight duck cloth in this gorgeous ECAT print. Before we cut out any fabric, we first want to install the curtain rod. You can install it as high above the window as you want and as far beyond the width of the window as you want. Just keep in mind that the curtains will not be any further out than where the brackets of the curtain rod are. We've installed the rod so that the brackets are just outside the window's frame. But here's a quick designer tip. If you're using two curtain panels, you can make your window look wider than it actually is by installing the brackets further out from the window so that the panels look like they're covering a bigger window than what they actually are. Your window and hardware might be different than ours, so we've included some tips to customize your own curtain panels in the project details you can find on our website. Now we'll take some measurements to see how much fabric we need to cut. First, measure from bracket to bracket to find the width. We're making two panels for our window, so each panel will need to be this measurement. This will give you enough fabric for the panels to gather and create a rich look. Add two more inches on top of that number to account for the hems you'll need to make. Next, we need to measure the length. We'll start from where the curtain rod hangs and measure to where we want the curtain to end. Add 10 inches to this number to account for the hems we need to make, a two inch double hem at the top that will be our rod pocket, and a three inch double hem at the bottom. Also, we're making a shorter curtain today, but if you'd like to make a full length panel down to the ground, just use these same steps, measuring from where the curtain rod is down to where you want your curtain to fall, plus 10 inches. Cut out two pieces of fabric according to the measurements. I'm using a rotary cutter on a cutting mat to get the straightest lines possible, but you could just as easily use fabric scissors if that's what you're comfortable using. Once your fabric is cut out, you're ready to sew. Let's start with the long side hems. Here we're going to sew a half inch double hem. Fold your fabric to one inch and use a seam gauge to make sure you have that one inch fold all the way across. As you move your seam gauge across the fold, checking the measurements, Press the fold with your iron as you go. Next, fold the raw edge into the crease, resulting in a half inch fold. Press as you fold. Secure your fabric by inserting pins perpendicular instead of parallel to the bottom edge. Now you're ready to sew. On your sewing machine, sew right along the inner fold with a straight stitch, starting and ending with the back stitch. This completes your first half inch double hem. Once you've completed the hem on one side, repeat all the same steps to complete the hem on the opposite long side of the curtain. Once you're done sewing both sides, we're going to sew along the top edge of our curtain now. This is going to be a two inch double hem and it's going to serve as the rod pocket for our curtain. Use the same steps as you did for the sides of the curtain, but instead, fold the fabric up to four inches. Check the measurement across the fold with your seam gauge, pressing as you go. 
fold the fabric into the crease to give you a two inch fold. Press, pin, and sew along the inner fold to complete that four inch double hem. Notice how the sides of this hem remain open so the curtain rod can slide in. That's how easy it is to make a rod pocket. We're almost done. The last step is to hem the bottom edge of our curtain. We'll make a three inch double hem here. A thicker hem like this will add some weight to the bottom of our curtain so it hangs straight. Fold the bottom edge of the fabric up and use your seam gauge to make sure the fold measures six inches all the way across. Once again, press the fabric with your iron as you use the seam gauge to check the fold all the way across. Fold the raw edge into the crease, pressing with your iron as you go. This gives you a three inch fold. Secure your fabric with straight pins before you begin to sew. Now, sew along the inner fold with a straight stitch starting and finishing up with a back stitch. This is the last step needed to complete your three inch double hem. Your panel is finished. Now just sew up the second panel the exact same way. Once you're done sewing both panels, insert the curtain rod of your choice into the rod pockets and all that's left to do is to hang your curtains. How cute are they? And they were so simple to make ourselves. With your curtains sewn this way, you can easily change up the look if you want by taking the rod out of the rod pocket and hanging the curtains using clips instead. Two totally different looks with the same curtain panels. Can't beat that. Well, there you have it. Give this method a try. It's so simple. Plus, you get the luxury of making curtains out of any fabric you want and any length you want. Talk about a custom window treatment, right? Well, that's all for now. Thanks for joining me today, everyone. I can't wait to show you some more home decor tutorials. Bye.